Hello, my amazing children. This is Grandma Carla, and I'm going to read to you another Poppleton book by Cynthia Ryland. Poppleton in Spring. Spring Cleaning. It's time for spring cleaning, said Poppleton one morning. He looked around his house. Poppleton's house. He does have a lot of stuff, doesn't he? He had so many things, things and things. There was a box of unmatched socks. There were jars of old buttons. One whole shelf was full of rocks. Poppleton liked his things very much, but he knew he had to clean. I will take some things to Cherry Sue, he said. Then I'll have more room. Poppleton went over to Cherry Sue's with an armload of things. Goodness, said Cherry Sue at the door. Would you like some things? asked Poppleton. What is Cherry Sue going to say? <clears throat> Cherry Sue really did not want some things. She was trying to spring clean, but she couldn't hurt Poppleton's feelings. Of course, said Cherry Sue, we'll put them in my attic. Poppleton followed Cherry Sue into her attic. He dumped all of his things in a corner. I'll sure miss those things, said Poppleton. I'll take good care of them, promised Cherry Sue. Wow, said Poppleton. Look at all of that yarn. Yes, said Cherry Sue. I don't knit, so it just sits there. May I have it? asked Poppleton. Of course, said Cherry Sue. And look at those thumbtacks, said Poppleton. I never use them, said Cherry Sue. May I have them, asked Poppleton. Of course, said Cherry Sue. Hey, a box of shoelaces, said Poppleton. Poppleton saw so many wonderful things in Cherry Sue's attic, and she was so nice. She gave him nearly everything. Soon, Poppleton's house was overflowing with things, and Cherry Sue's was as clean as a whistle, except for a small pile of things in the corner of the attic. Poppleton and Cherry Sue had lemonade in the sun when they were done, don't you love spring cleaning, said Poppleton. I love it, said Cherry Sue. So did Cherry Sue get rid of some of her stuff because Poppleton took it to his house? But Cherry Sue really did spring clean, and Poppleton kind of just switched things around, didn't he? I'm sorry, Grandma Carla's a little hoarse. My, my voice is not working very well, is it? The next one is called The Bicycle. Poppleton decided to buy a bicycle. It will be good exercise, Poppleton said. I'll get everywhere faster, he said, and I'll get to choose a favorite color. That was the best part. <clears throat> Poppleton went to see his friend Marcia at the bicycle store. I would like to buy a bicycle, he told Marcia. Sure, said Marcia. What kind do you want? Just a bicycle, said Poppleton. Something for exercise. Something to get everywhere faster. Yes, said Marcia. But what kind?
She took Poppleton to the big room. There must have been a hundred bicycles in that room, and they were all different. Look at all the bicycles. Marcia showed Poppleton bicycles until he thought he would faint. Finally, he pointed weakly. That one, he croaked. Great, said Marcia. What color? Red, croaked Poppleton. What kind of red? asked Marcia. Red, red, croaked Poppleton. Poppleton is so tired of looking at bicycles. He didn't know it would be so hard to decide. We have 15 different kinds of red, said Marcia. Let me show you. No, screamed Poppleton. He ran out of the bicycle store. He ran all the way home. He got there very fast. Look at him scream and pull his ears. He had had enough of bicycles. Poppleton changed his mind about getting a bicycle. He decided he would just walk. And anyway, Poppleton was sure now that he, if, if he ever needed to get anywhere faster, he would just run. And I guess Poppleton can run pretty fast. That was the end of that one. The tent. In spring, Poppleton decided to sleep outside in a tent. His friends thought he was silly. Now look at the little sign. It says, Adventure Pig, Deluxe Camp Tent. Why sleep outside when you've got a house? asked Hudson. Won't you get chilly? asked Cherry Sue. You'll catch pneumonia, said Gus, the mail carrier. But Poppleton didn't listen to any of them. He carried all of his quilts out to the tent. He had a flashlight and a pillow and some good books. And long after everyone else was asleep, Poppleton was still up. You see all of his quilts here in his tent. Sometimes he was reading. Sometimes he was thinking. And sometimes he was just paying attention. Poppleton loved spring at night. In the morning, he went back into his house. He had a cup of cocoa and some buttered toast, and then he went to find Cherry Sue. He showed her the new flower that had opened up while she was sleeping, and while he was paying attention. Then Poppleton went back inside. He closed his blinds and he slept in his bed all day. That silly Poppleton, said everyone who passed. There's Poppleton enjoying his bed now. Everyone, except for Cherry Sue. So what is Cherry Sue doing now? She decided that she would sleep in the tent and watch the flowers bloom. And that is the end of Poppleton 
in Spring by Cynthia Ryland. I love Poppleton books. And this is Grandma Carla. And I love you.